So yeah, so in 2013, what we are seeing is uh, absolutely a big trend in terms of you know people that that usually um, were leveraging um, you know uh, uh, legacy systems and you know mostly with the silo approach, uh, they want to uh, either expand uh, existing uh, existing capabilities of their services or either embrace new trends like cloud, like new technologies. Um, and so uh, they see a, a BPM as a, as a perfect solution for, uh, for helping the, them to move, to move through that path. Uh, basically, because of two key things, the connectivity, again, uh, with uh, between uh, uh, the processes and all their existing systems. And we're talking here about uh, you know, uh, systems coming from, for example, SAP, we're talking about ERPs, we're talking about uh, you know, legacy. Uh, also, databases from Oracle could be uh, Microsoft. Uh, we're talking about you know uh, um, mainframes coming from, from uh, for example, IBM. So people that are building or extending existing services uh, that were built on top of those uh, you know uh, uh, technologies, uh, and that they say, okay, yeah, a BPM solution can do it uh, if the solution is providing us this native uh, you know connectivity capabilities. So uh, that's one of the key uh, things that we're seeing for 2013 for people expanding uh, you know, solutions based on those legacy systems. So again, of course, this is a big trend. Uh, uh, it has been a trend for the last couple of, uh, of years and now it's accentuated with uh, you know, the, new, the maturity of some technologies uh, around big data. Um, but what we are seeing in the BPM space, at least my, my vision there, is, is mostly that you know, when you build those business applications, when you rely on those processes, you need to be sure that you know your business is going to be more efficient. So the analytics part uh, in, in that space is mostly about okay, let's define the goals of my business. Let's define what are the indicators that are going to help me, you know, to become better as a business. Uh, and sometimes you are going to leverage some uh, you know analytics capabilities. Sometimes you are you are going to leverage some big data uh, tooling. Uh, but uh, you know, for me, it's like the correlation between the processes, the business application, the goals, the metrics, and how all that uh, you know comes together, and uh, you define the right metrics. So I was seeing, of course, different different big trends, but uh, uh, especially one related to the business price management space, which is a you know a big increase on the adoption of those technologies. But not only you know the traditional use of BPM, which was about automating processes and trying to get your business better, uh, but but mainly about we have a lot of people that are creating new offerings, creating new services, and also expanding you know existing offer uh, offering. Uh, and those guys, at the end, they want to build, you know, business applications that they're going to use either internally, but most of the time for their customers, uh, and in which they, they see that the value of using a BPM solution, so to build those business applications based on processes, and of course, then rely on a complete set of features of a BPM platform for improving the way those business applications are working. So that's a kind of a big trend uh, of uh, the massive use of BPM for building those business applications, either for new businesses or new services or existing services. Uh, there has been a lot of discussions uh, about you know what is the role of BPM uh, in the cloud, um, uh, and most of the you know the trends in the in the market, uh, especially when you think what the other vendors are doing, uh, is mostly about uh, considering that the opportunity for BPM in the cloud is mostly about uh, providing a SaaS uh, you know service uh, SaaS solution. Um, you know I'm spending a lot of time uh, you know discussing with our customers you know internally with uh, with the teams. At what we're seeing at Bonita Soft is like a, the real need is not about having a, a SaaS platform uh, on BPM. It's mostly about providing a platform on the cloud in which uh, you can you can run your processes. You can have multiple applications, business applications. You can have those business applications working with different processes. You can measure the goals. So it's mostly about the execution on the cloud. So the the trend I'm really seeing for for next year for the 2013 is mostly you know uh, for uh, uh, you know about BPM as a pass. A platform rather than a SaaS uh, service. So, uh, and this is where uh, actually uh, all the efforts uh, for Bonita software is going to be put on.